Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be colouring in Colouring Heaven Steampunk because that was the one that was requested. I am sitting at my new desk. There's a lot of dust around already. I only went up the other day so I'm going to have to get and dust it off. Um, so yeah, this is. I'll show you this uh, properly in a colouring setup and uh, supplies collection video at some point. It's not 100% ready yet. I've, got, I've still got a little bit to do on it. So, we're going to be colouring in the Colouring Heaven Steampunk Special and I've decided we're going to colour in Foxy. So I like this one. So we're going to do this one. So this is one of the ones by Dawn Davidson. So welcome back to the channel. Um, if you've not been here before, thank you for joining us. And if you're not subscribed, please do. It really, I would really appreciate it. And if you're a regular, welcome back. It's good to see you again. So I'm going to be using the Ohuhu markers tonight. I like these. Oh, I haven't put a piece of paper in between. Hang on a second. Fortunately. I have a piece down below, so I've just picked it up and put it in. It's just a piece of uh, uh, blank artist paper, like that, so that can go underneath. Let's get going. So, how are you all? Are you all okay? How are you doing? What is it like where you are in the world? Um, things are now opening back up in the UK and in Wales. Uh, by the way, this is Skin White 151. Uh, yeah, so shops are open, hairdressers and all that. The only thing that's not open properly now is the hospitality industry. So pubs, restaurants, nightclubs, stuff like that. So they're hoping, I think they're supposed to open next Monday. Or be able to open next Monday for outside um, service. So you sit outside and the pub or restaurant provides a table service. So that's good. Um, what else has been happening? I think it seems to be spreading in schools a lot. Uh, both I and Paul have now had our first jabs. My next one's uh, due on the 25th of May. Um, my mum's second is due I think on the 20th of May or around the 20th of May or the 24th, something like that. It's not far, it's around the same time as mine. Uh, Paul hasn't got his second yet because he was done at a mass vaccination centre rather than at a uh, doctor's surgery. Um, uh, my dad's had his second, so he's all good. <clears throat> so Jennifer's fine. Uh, she's now sleeping in a big bed. She fell out of it the first night, um, but hasn't since. She's been, she's fine. She loves it. She loves having this big bed she and you know this morning she jumped out ready for to get to ready for nursery got off herself and said i could do it myself i do it myself and I'm like, that's wonderful and she was so pleased that she could get out of bed without any help she'd get out of a cot without any help when she was in that but she um in the mornings was too sleepy so i used to help her help her out of bed so Bless her. She's so sweet, mind. She's so sweet. And she remembers everything. It's very, very sweet. So, yeah, I mean, it's been nice out. So we've been out in the garden a bit. I, to be honest, I didn't go out today because I don't know why. I was going to. And I'll put that under because otherwise it won't fit because the desk is really small and there's a... in there. <laughs> Excuse me. So, so yeah, I mean... The weather's been lovely. I've had washing on the line the last couple of days, which is always nice because it saves a bit of money rather than doing it in the dryer. However much it is, it's maybe pennies, but it's still pennies. And, you know, you gotta take care of the pennies and the pounds will take care of themselves, is what they used to say. So, yeah, I've done my budget for next month because I've spent so much money this month, I almost ran out. I have got money. It's just you've got to be so careful. Um, it's just, of course, buying Jennifer's bedding and stuff and... So I bought some clothes and I was like, oh, I'm going to run out of money. I'm not. So, but, uh, I'm going to make a April TBR of things I want to read. Now, it's not going to be a huge TBR because I, I tend to go with the flow and read what I fancy. But I will be making a TBR because I want to have some sort of structure in my reading. So, for instance, I know I'm going to read the next Stephen King on the list. So that's fine. I know I'm going to read at least one Jack the Ripper. And I'll be, I'll be finishing off other books as well that I, I've started, like some of the Marilyn ones or 
um, something else. So there's lots to do, really. But yeah, no, I've been okay. I've been fine. Uh, work was okay. It was busy today. It's always busy on a Monday because we've had the weekend off and people are ringing to check up on things. So that's why I expect it to be busy on a Monday. Uh, it might be busy tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. Now she's got a lovely line across her face. So I'm going to go over that again later. <laughs> this is where the thing is. I'm not very good with the markers. I just enjoy using them. I will put some glitter on here where this uh, earring is and on the choker but yeah I really really like this I like this book there's lots in it there's quite a bit I want to try with pencils as well so um, yeah we will have to see so and it's hard for you to see. I've just got to move something out of the way because I need to... Sorry, it's bits and pieces everywhere. This is the first time I've tried filming at this desk, so it's a bit of a learning curve for me. I used it this morning for work and it was fantastic. So it's just a matter of me now getting used to uh, colouring here. I've had to put on a, a lamp, otherwise there's a great big shadow across it. So this battery's got dying, so I'm just going to go and change it. Okay, that's all sorted. Let's get back in and carry on. So, last week I did do some eBay photos. I haven't listed. I'm going to do some listing after I've finished this. And then tomorrow night will be my eBay night where I photograph as much as I can or as much as I feel like. Um, I've got loads of photos on my camera to do, but I want to keep on it. So I should probably do about 12 items. And then Wednesday I'll be filming, hopefully, um, some more of my first impressions because I really do want to get it finished, but because I've been moving everything around and fluctuating between filming upstairs and filming downstairs, it's just been really difficult. So now I've got this set up up here. It's all nice and tidy. I can film them up here even the water-based ones, even though I'll have to go and get, uh, bring up water. But that's okay, I usually have a water carafe filled with water for drinking anyway, so I just, just make sure it's filled up tomorrow. And I've got my paint palette thing and a, a cup to rinse the bits out in, and I shall just do it like that, I'll be fine. And then I'll take it all down in the morning, or well, when I go down the next time. Um, I don't think there's any football on tomorrow. It'll be later in the week normally. I'll be honest, I'll be watching a lot of YouTube later. Finders lately, Finders Beeper, Steve Donahue, uh, Missy over at Bindreader, and so on. Because I just I just enjoy watching the videos, I really do. So let's just zoom in a bit. We're going to do blue eyes. Now, what colour was it I was going to do for blue eyes? I was going to use. What colour have I got? I got 66 and 63. Sixty-six for Horizon, which is a baby blue. There you go. Very nice. And I've got this little red for her lips. I always like to do red lips if I can. Now I will put a little red dot in her eyes there because if you look at your eyes, you do have a little red dot just there. Um, so it just makes it look a bit better. Well, sort of. It's a lovely red. Now I was thinking about doing her hat and her dress and her necklace choker red, but she's got a fox on her hat. So there's going to be a lot of auburn and red around that anyway, so I didn't want to do too much, so we're going to do it all blue. It probably won't take long to do this one. But this book is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So for her hat, her choker and the frill around her neck, I'm using 63, which is cerulean blue, which is a lovely blue. At least I think it's a lovely blue. It looks nice on the swatch. 
it's uh, slightly darker than baby blue but not too dark that it won't look right on the grayscale. Planned this weekend. Nothing, I don't think. What we got? Jennifer's been invited to next door. Really not supposed to be going around there yet, so she's having a birthday party. But it is in the garden, and we do know them, so you can meet up in the garden a certain number. So that's not too bad. It's um, next door's daughter's fifth birthday soon. I can't get over that Jennifer's three. <laughs> She's growing up so quickly. It is scary. I've got to be honest, I've been really lazy with the first impressions. I still haven't done the Arteza watercolours. I still haven't done the Brute Funas. 120 round barrel set that I've got and I really want to use them I've just been really lazy and uh, that's why I'm, I'm planning out my evenings so that I can get stuff done so if there's football Thursday I'll come up and I'll do a bit of eBay and if I can I'll do a bit more filming it really just depends on if the football's on because I hate football Paul loves it sometimes I'll sit with him and colour or I'll listen to an audio book or read but I'm, I'll probably say I'm going upstairs to do eBay while this is on and do some filming because there's something I need to get filmed and we'll just see how it goes yeah this blue is nice this needs to be that's it lovely I've got so many colouring books that I've got this month but I'm not buying anything next month. The only thing I should be getting next month is the Colour in Heaven which I get every month because I'm a subscriber. Um, I am trying to save a bit of money. I've bought so many this month um, because I have got a voucher from work. I still haven't spent it. It was £100. I still haven't spent it all. I had a bonus at work and I spent £100 on that on just colouring books because I didn't want to buy any supplies this month. Oh, that's nice. Just having a, a sip of a drink. I'm going to get another one in a bit. So I really don't need to buy any. It's lovely to have them for a haul and flip throughs and to show you but I don't need to be buying as many as I have. So I'm going to try not to buy anything next month other than Colour in Heaven. And sometimes I like to pick up the Relax With Art ones if I happen to be in Tesco and they're in. If they're not in, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I do like some of the pictures. I find them quite busy and the lines are faint and the artwork, to be fair, can be hit or miss. They've, they've been some really nice ones, to be fair. But we'll just have to, to see what happens with it, so... But I do want to try and save. We're supposed to be going holiday soon, so I want to try and save for that. And um, just because, you know, I do like to try and save. So. And I haven't been this month because I had, like I said, I had to buy a lot of stuff for Jennifer, which is fair enough. But I also have spent money on Jack the Ripper books and things like that. I've got one more Jack the Ripper book come in and I've got a Stephen King book come in which is part of next month's uh, Stephen King readathon. So I will be doing a, a TBR, I will be doing a Jack the Ripper book haul, I won't be hauling the rest of the books I've bought because there's only like two. So I've got like uh, 12 or 13 Jack the Ripper books that I could show you, fortunately out of those I have actually read two, <laughs> which is great. Um, so well, uh, uh, you'll see them when they go up. If you're, if you're interested, you can uh, obviously watch the Jack the Ripper book haul. Now, is that him or is that? Yeah, that would be under his neck, I think, which would normally probably be white or something like that. You have to have a look sometimes and decide. Might not be white that is so it 
Oh, this is, I do enjoy this, these books. They are just so nice. So normally I wouldn't sit here necessarily and colour unless I'm doing something with water than I would if I was just colouring a watercolour picture in. Um, so for instance I've got one on the go that I'm doing in um, Serene and I need to use the dress, Distressed inks on them. Not that I'm very good with them so I'm terrified I'm going to wreck it. I'm going to do a bit of experimenting before I do that. I might do that uh, the Wednesday when I do the Mozart video because I'll have water up here. Um, and then, so there is that, um, but generally it'll be for filming and work. And then all oh, my distressed inks are in the way. Put them over here somewhere. So yeah, I still haven't really sorted out exactly where everything's going to go over here yet. So but we will get there. It's really nice. Now this lamp I'm using is a daylight lamp. It's a photography lamp. It's a photographic lamp which I bought specifically for doing my um, eBay stuff. But it is... Um, just trying to think. It gets very hot normally. Uh, and when it gets very hot, well you can imagine you you sweat quite a lot in it. So. Let's get a pinky here. Yeah? Uh, yeah, it's you can sweat quite a lot with it, so I just like to not have it on for too long. It's not too bad actually because I'm not working hard trying to. Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, I'm not with it. Uh, photograph stuff. I'm not up and down, running around on stuff. I'm just sitting here colouring, so it's not too bad. In fact, I quite feel quite chilly. I have got the window open. I have the window open. Whoops all year round and I only close it if it gets so cold I can't bear it. I prefer to have a window open. I like to sleep in the cold. Paul will come in here sometimes and he'll go, it's freezing in here and I go, no, it's lovely. I never have the radiator on in this room. It's never on, which is why the desk is where it is, which is actually in front of the radiator because I won't have it on. I don't like the heating. It makes me wheeze, it dries me out. So I just leave the window open and I seem to manage all right, yeah. I know that this desk, which is black, is going to need a lot of cleaning. So that my TV's on a stand just above it and it's desperately, you can see my shadow because of the way I'm colouring, it desperately <laughs> needs a good clean. But it's better though, it's higher up. And the box that it was on previously now holds my eBay stock. Not all of it, there's some on the top because there's so much of it at the moment. So the idea is to clear the top first and then work my way through the box. And then as I get through it, I can get more, hopefully, and put it in. I mean, the charity shops are open now, the auctions are back on. Um, I'm gonna have a look. I haven't looked to see what the stuff at the auction went for this week, so I will have a look because I do like to. Yeah, I'll have a look afterwards when I'm on it. I've had one sale. I've got one to go off tomorrow. I just can't remember to take it downstairs because it's up here. So I accidentally brought it upstairs in error. So. Right, yeah. Quite enjoying doing this, so. This will probably just be uh, one video and then we'll find something else. I've certainly got plenty of books to choose from. I'm thinking about doing a complete colouring book collection video, but I've not long done a Jade Summer one and they haven't really put any books up, so I'm not sure about putting the Jade Summer ones in. There have been a few since I did mine, but not that many. I have added a few. So if I do a complete colouring book collection, do you want me to do another Jade Summer complete colouring book collection first and then everything else? Because I do keep them separate just because I like to keep them with them um, in company. So for instance, all Creative Haven or Jade Summer or Ava Brown. Um, the two Doctor Who books are all together. We've got all the Deborah Muller together and so on. So all the Jade Summer is together. So, but there's so many that is going, that would be a video on its own because there's just so, so many of them. So would you like to see that? Or should I just do the rest of the coloring book collection? Let me know in the comments below. And if there's anything else you want me to do, 
uh, let me know. Um, I am planning on doing another Marilyn Books You Should Own at some point. That's a little way off yet because there's a book I want to finish. I might put that on next week's, uh, next month's uh, TBR. Um, it's a very big book and I want to finish read that first. I don't know whether or not it'll be on one you must own because it only covers up to 1954 or 55. Um, so it's not her entire life. But, you yeah, know, it depends. There's a lot of good information in it, I must admit. So we will see. I'll have a look. Because so many books coming out. And I mean, like Michelle Morgan's got a new book out next year. I can't wait for it. Marilyn in England. It's called When Marilyn Met the Queen. So I'm so looking forward to that. But it's going to be amazing. Of course, I'm sure you all heard that uh, we've just had the funeral of his Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, the Queen's husband, he was 99, whether you're a royalist or not, they were together, they were married for 73 years, and that's a heck of a long time, and they've known each other a lot longer than that as well, and <sighs> seeing her sitting alone in the chapel at, at Windsor, it was heartbreaking to see her, she looked alone and, and sad and frail, which of course she is, getting frail because she's in her 90s as well she's 95 this year I think it's uh, I think it's actually um something fell off the desk or oh, I think one of the pens fell out the bag because they're sort of lying on their side but they're open I'll pick it up in a minute you know so yeah I think her birthday's uh this week it's either this week or next week so it's gonna be very quiet and somber a birthday for her which I think is really sad you know, born in 1926, the same year as Marilyn Monroe, Kenneth Williams, comedian, and my Uncle Fred. Well, Uncle Ginger, we called him. Well, not a real uncle, he was my godfather. Now, I do need a, a nice brown for the eyes. I don't think the ones I've... Yeah, so let me just go in. And I'll have a look at a nice... Oh yeah, there they go. I knew that. What flowers are looking up? 134. That is falling out. No, there it is. Right in front of me. It's going to try not to stand them upright so that they're not running the ink into one section. But that's okay. I shall... Uh, do that myself, but I'll put it back later. <laughs> I'll put the back later in approximately the correct uh, tub sections. Doesn't really matter. Right, so we've got 146 and 147, which is red, grey, and a, it's called yellow ochre, but you know what? It's more of a brown. So we'll start up here on the foxy, and we're just gonna. This is the lighter of the two colours. Now, I may not need to do a lot of the other. I might just put it over a bit of the... In fact, I might not need the darker one. I might just use the dark, the other one on her hair then. So that it's similar, but not the same. I like this picture. She's lovely, isn't she? That is actually the perfect colour for the fox. And it is red grey. Is it red grey? I think it was called. Yeah, red grey. I like this for the fox. I'm not sure whether that bit is her hat or him. I think it's his fur. But it could also be his, her hat. I think it would look probably better um, mm, what do you think I'm going to do it as hat I just don't think it's going to look right with the um, I don't think it is the hat though because it wouldn't go that far across 
it's not that it is part of him that's better right took some figuring out I do like this color it's a very nice red gray So that's his tail, unless that's his tail, and that's her. Oh, it's it's hard to tell where his fur ends and her hair begins. It's tail. It looks more like tail than fur. This is just his body. That's where his legs would be. That's got to be his tail, because her hair is more sleek looking, isn't it? It's just the way it's round there, so it looks like it's not quite. It's one of those things that it doesn't look like it should be his tail, but it is because it's not done in the same style as the hair. So, this is actually quite a quick one to do, I'll admit. You know, I, I've, I've not been filming lately, it's just because of the whole hassle of moving stuff up and down and up and down all the time it's all right if it's just like one item one coloring book or two coloring books um some markers or some gel pens and some and one of the pencil cases but when i'm carrying around loads of stuff because i want to do this this and this i just don't feel it then so now it's set up here all the filming is going to be done up here and i will work out some kind of filming schedule <laughs> and uh you know work schedule for the uh ebay as well because i got to start getting back into that so okay so in a minute i'm going to put the tv on i'm going to list the five items well five of the items i've got ready to go and then I might read for a bit before going to sleep. And then tomorrow I will draft a few for tomorrow. And then tomorrow night I'll get those next five listed. And then I'll uh, do the... Um, some more photographs. And then if, if I've got time after that, I can sit and colour. And then on Wednesday, it will be colouring. And Thursday, it will be eBay again. And then Friday, we'll film another colouring chat. I love people who put up things like Friday Reads, but I can't do that because I just don't know what I'm going to be doing over the weekend. I might be reading, but I don't have the luxury of having most of the day to read anymore because I've got Jennifer, and that's fine. Most of my reading comprises of Willie and Hugh, a book about two friends, two lonely people who meet and make friends. Um, or Peppa Pig. Or Peter Rabbit if you're really lucky and that's fine I want her to enjoy reading as much as I do so I'm happy to read her and she loves physical books because the pictures I like physical books I also like ebooks I, I like audiobooks I don't listen to them as much as I would like to um, I used to I have still got an audible account and I still pay for it and I get the credits and then I just I just don't listen to them it'll take me ages to listen to one audiobook and I'll go through spates of listening to it for a little while each day for a while and then I just stop so we're going to use the slightly darker yellow it's called yellow ochre it's brown this is this is called yellow ochre this is why I don't go by the color names It's not, there's more brown than, there's more ochre in there than yellow, but it's a nice brown. I go by the number. There's another one which has got a number, black brown, 140, and it's 
pink <laughs> so it's a peachy colour too orangey for the skin unless you're doing you know somebody with a bad fake tan no names but yeah it, it's really funny that they've got these really weird colour names so. so it's similar to the foxy brown or the red grey as it is but it's also a bit darker so it does to give it a bit of definition and distinction from the um, the fox which is good we like and then we'll just use a bit of glitter gel for jewellery because that as well nice easy one I'm not going to do a background I think it just looks nice like this if I was going to do anything I think I would put an oval around I'd, it, I'd like it to be an, an oval so it would be like a cameo but I'm not going to do that or in a locket I think it just looks nice like this. So how long are we going for? Oh, 30 minutes is fine. Got plenty of time. Um, I'm just going to keep doing it because I want to finish it tonight because there's not going to be much left if I don't. It's only going to be the jewellery, so we might as well finish it. Okay. I do quite like colouring these, they're lovely. Oh, I love colour in heaven. I'm so glad I got the subscription and Paul gets it for me every Christmas and birthday. It just means I get a present from him every month. <laughs> I get a colouring book and a present every month. So, And sometimes I do the Discovery Club pictures and sometimes I don't. I've got a few to print off actually. Um, try not to print them off unless I'm going to colour them at the moment just because I've got so many. What with the... Um, the Ava Brown books. Oh God. Got so many. And I am colouring in them. There's that I mean the, the latest one, see I think it's Secret Garden 3. It is so cute. I think I picked out five pictures that I want to do straight away. So um I do like them. I am hoping they'll do something like uh, another uh, beautiful ladies or beautiful dresses or something like that because I like people I mean I do like the ones they've done but I'm more keen on doing people than I am on scenes and animals but the secret garden three I think that's what it's called anyway it's lovely something like that, secret village I'm not sure I'm sure they've got secret garden and secret village and I'll need to check I'm getting warm now from the light but that's okay <laughs> I do like this picture I think these are beautiful steampunk and like I said I'm not big on steampunk I do like some steampunk designs but not all of them but this is beautiful I love this book I am glad but I've bought some lovely books this month, so you'll be seeing them soon, and uh, I hope you do enjoy them, because I know I'm going to, whether I colour in them on camera or not. And as, as always, I always say, let me know if you want me to colour in any of them, because I'm happy to do it. Obviously, we've done this one. We can always do another one. We could do one with pencils. I just think some of the uh, more detailed ones would be better with pencils. There is a couple of Wizard of Oz ones I want to do. I love the Wizard of Oz, as you know, it's my favourite. I prefer Wizard of Oz to Alice, I'm not a big Alice fan. 
I, nothing wrong with Alice. I like the stories, but I don't like it as much as most people seem to. It's all right, but I prefer The Wizard of Oz. I think it's just because I'm a big Judy Garland fan and I love her singing. So, of course, I prefer The Wizard of Oz, even though the story is totally different to the film. Well, not, I mean, obviously it's the same basic premise, but there's a lot of differences. Um... So, you know, it's all good. There we go. So these pens are lovely, these oh hoo hoos I think, um, I mean, obviously I've got all the Arteza Rather blends. They're still the only thing downstairs I haven't brought up, so I must bring those up soon. I keep forgetting. And I like those as well, so... I think I've got plenty of markers to be going on with. And even with the um, Shuttle Arts and the Sharpies, which I use for some of the other pictures, they're great too, you know. I do. I've still got some of my old Touch Five markers, and I'm working through them, using them up in patterns. And there's so many greys. I'm actually going to do um, one of the easy patterns, I think, in just greys, just to use them up and just to see what it looks like. Just because I think that would look nice. There we go. Yeah, it's fine with that light on. It's it's actually better here than anywhere else so far. It's gonna be a lot easier for doing flip throughs. Okay, that stopped recording before I finished chatting to you. So I've done her hair. Um I'm going to I've just got three gel pens to do a jewellery with. I've got a silver, a black and a blue. So we're just going to put this down here like this. Change this just slightly. Just concentrating on this bit for a minute. Okay. Oh, it's finished my coke. This has not taken very long at all. I really, really enjoyed this one. It has been quite fun, actually. It's been nice having a good chat to you as well. I'll also photograph this one and put it on the um, Colour in Heaven page on Facebook. I know that it goes over and you can't really see the grayscale through the gel, but you can see a bit, it is a bit darker, but not by much. Still go out again just to finish it off. Make sure it's all done right. There we go, that's it. There we are. All finished. And there she is, there's Foxy. I do apologise that you can see my other stuff down the side. 
my laptop and stuff but there we are all finished so that is foxy from coloring heaven steampunk by this one was by dawn davidson so it's dawn and matt davidson and this is dawn so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please 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 uh give this video a thumbs up because that really helps um leave me a comment down below let me know what you think and share it with your friends and subscribe if you're not a subscriber i will see you in the next video which i promise will not be as long there will be another color and chat sometime later this week i just don't know what we'll be coloring in yet but i'll see you soon bye everyone